Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the match between Barcelona and Elche. And in this game, Barcelona has won 3-0. So finally, right? Finally, Barcelona has gotten a great win at the Camp Nou. After seeing the horrendous performances that Barcelona has displayed up against PSG and Cadiz, Barcelona have finally showed up against Elche with two goals coming from Lionel Messi and one coming from Jordi Alba. So there is so much that we do need to talk about in today's video and the way that i am going to be formatting this video for those of you guys who are new here for those of you guys who are watching me for the first time i do like to format this into three different parts i like to talk about the first half the second half and then give my overall review of this game so starting with the first half and we are going to be beginning with the lineup now if we were to look at the lineup here we can see that it was clear that kumin's idea was that he wanted to rest many players we do have many games coming up ahead within the next 14 to 15 days and many players have seen the bench in tonight's game we have seen Antoine Griezmann sit on the bench we have seen Dembele sit on the bench these were two players who did not start within the starting 11 and then we also did see Minguesa as the right back over Serginho Dest I do believe that it is quite clear that Ronald Koeman does prefer Minguesa over Serginho Dest in terms of who is going to be starting in the starting 11 but overall this was a great strong lineup for a team up against Elche so now going into the first half and as the game did start, there were many doubts that were surrounding these Barcelona players because, again, over the past 14 to 15 days, Barcelona did not experience their best results. We have seen Barcelona struggle against a very lower division type of teams. And we were really questioning going into this game and asking, can Barcelona pull off a win against Elche? Can they actually bring a great result and come out with three points? And as we went through this game, one of the biggest concerns that we have seen Ronald Koeman place on the field was that he let the opposition play first. Ronald Koeman's idea in this game was that he wanted Elche to receive the ball and then have Barcelona with players such as Gerard Piquet, Samuel Umtiti, Jordi Alba, Minguesa, Frankie de Jong, Pedri sit back and form a 4-4-2. That was the game plan within the first half. This is something that we have seen in the past couple of games coming from Ronald Koeman, which is again a very big concern because the last thing you do want to do as a Barcelona coach is to play very reserved and very defensive. And what really boggled everyone's mind about this idea coming from Koeman is the fact that Ronald Koeman has been wanting this Barcelona team to play much better, to be more intense, to be always on the ball. And seeing here that Koeman went with the exact same approach up against Elche like he did with PSG and Cadiz, that's ludicrous because if you expect to get different results in this game, but also at the same time coming in with the exact same approach, that is going to be creating absolute madness within the minds of the players and the coach. One other thing that we did see very constantly was we have seen many times Elche sit back with Barcelona trying to penetrate into the box and once Elche did receive possession of the ball, they did go on the counter. And what did Barcelona do next? Ronald Koeman's game plan was to immediately form again the 4-4-2 which is something that is not how Barcelona should be playing because when the opposition regains possession after forming a deep block the first thing you do want to do as a Barcelona team is to regain the possession from the front Ronald Koeman's idea had nothing to do with that and I remember Ronald Koeman in the pre-match press conference stating that this Barcelona team needs to be more optimistic after a defeat they need to continue to have more hope and play much much better but seeing the way that Barcelona played in the first half, the style that they portrayed on the field was not optimistic in no way. But the only bright light that we did see within the first half was Francisco Trincao. Let me tell you guys, every time Trincao did receive the ball on that right wing area, Trincao looked absolutely devastating to the opposition. I do think that with this type of performance that Trincao did show, he is showing determination. This is a player that wants to win. This is a player that wants to make a mark with with this Barcelona team and it's very exciting to see such a young player contribute in this way and look very dangerous on the field because the way that he likes to check in for the balls the way that he likes to take on these players on the right side and then in the end trying to contribute when it does come to those defensive duties
duties, Trincao really is a player that does have it all. And there was a moment on the 19th minute where we have seen Lionel Messi pass the ball towards Francisco Trincao. Then we did see Trincao dribble the ball, take down two or three players, and then almost scored. And this is what I did have to say on Twitter. What Trincao displayed there on the 19th minute was extremely hard to do. The fact that he ran at full speed while maintaining full control of the ball against the opposition was so mesmerizing. What a dribble from Trincao. So it was a fantastic run. I do think that if you were to give Trincao more minutes on the pitch and have him understand the game that Barcelona wants to play moving forward, this could be a very, very dangerous player for FC Barcelona. But now going into the second half, and this is where everything goes in a full 360, right? Because in the first half, I was explaining how we came with the wrong approach. In the second half, everything did completely change. And it first started off with Dembele coming in for Pjanic. Now what this did for Ronald Koeman starting 11 was that it did form in a 4-2-3-1. Dembele played on the left wing and then Martin Brethwaite shifted his position from the left wing into a number nine role. He was that number one in front of the 4-2-3-1. And I'm going to be explaining throughout the rest of this second half why this was so important in order to receive this 3-0 win. Because it did not take that long for Barcelona to finally get their first goal up against Elche. And on the 48th minute, we did see Lionel Messi score the first goal for Barcelona with a great assist coming from Martin Brethwaite. This is a great chess move coming from Ronald Koeman because the fact that we saw Martin Brethwaite assist Lionel Messi with a back heel, it really goes to show that Martin Brethwaite is way more effective when he's in the center of the pitch than when he is on the left wing. Martin Brethwaite truly does understand what Lionel Messi is trying to do and when you have those two factors coming in, when you have a number nine that understands what they need to do and you have Lionel Messi right behind you, you are going to be creating a goal scoring chance. And after the 48th minute, we did see Barcelona moving much, much faster in terms of passing the ball, making those runs. Barcelona looked much more alive. It's almost as if they needed that first goal in order for them to finally start to activate. And we were in the exact same position like we were up against Cadiz. We were in a 1-0 lead at the Camp Nou and we were looking for the second goal. Shortly right after, about 12 to 15 minutes later, we did see Lionel Messi score the second goal up against Elche. But it was overshadowed coming from a fantastic, tremendous run coming from Frankie de Jong. The fact that we saw Frankie de Jong, right? And I'm going to I'm going to stick on this player just for a second, right? The fact that we saw Frankie de Jong take down two or three players with no player in front of him to pass it to, make it all the way into the box, and finally find Lionel Messi to score that goal, it is world class. I just can't emphasize enough just how much of a world class player Frankie de Jong truly is. Because you do not expect to see a central defensive midfielder or a or a interior take down players in that way. You would expect Lionel Messi to do that. You would expect Haaland or Kylian Mbappe to do that, but never Frankie de Jong. And Frankie de Jong has done this before throughout this season, and he does it absolutely well. And really pay attention to that goal, right? Really pay attention to what happened before. The fact that Frankie de Jong understands what spaces to attack, that is a skill. That is not something that you get from talent or you are born with. That is a skill that you have to work on. And not many players that try to practice that skill actually executes it right on the field. Frankie de Jong understands it very, very well. And I do think that this is also telling us that Frankie de Jong does deserve a spot in terms of being an attacking midfielder for FC Barcelona or start as a interior for this club. Shortly right after, about 45 minutes later, on the 73rd minute, we did see Jordi Alba score his goal, which did make it into a 3-0 win for FC Barcelona. But this, again, did get overshadowed by the brilliance of what did happen before Alba hit that ball inside the net. It did come from a wonderful pass coming from Lionel Messi with Martin Brathwaite position himself in the correct way in order to set up Jordi Alba to score that goal inside the box. It was a great understanding coming from Lionel Messi and Martin Brathwaite. Again, going back to what I said in the beginning of the second half review, there was a reason why the 4-2-3-1 came into play. There was a reason why Ronald Koeman wanted Brathwaite to play in the center of the pitch. Brathwaite is simply just a much more effective player when played in the middle. And with Martin Brathwaite giving that assist towards Jordi Alba, it says here that in the previous 40 matches that Martin 
Martin Brathwaite has played for Barcelona, he has only given one assist. In this game, in 73 minutes, he has given a total of two assists. And later in the match, we did see Martin Brathwaite get subbed out for Antoine Griezmann on the 76 minutes. I do believe that this was the wrong call coming from Ronald Koeman. Brathwaite in this match did deserve to play the full 90 minutes. We don't necessarily see him in every game and play a full 90 minutes. And in this game, I do believe that it was the time for him to shine. But that was it, right? Barcelona did win 3-0 against Elche at the Camp Nou. Barcelona is finally in third place with Barcelona having a game in hand over Sevilla. I do believe that this was a very important win, a win where we can learn a lot of lessons and how we should be moving forward. And some key points that I would take away from this game would be that Pedri is a very important player because Pedri in this game has executed two recoveries, two recoveries that did lead towards two goals. And then as for Martin Brethwaite, he is also a very important player. He did provide two assists and he should be a more centralized player. As for the next player, Trincao is a wonderful player. Trincao is a player that wants to succeed with Barcelona and he should be given more minutes. And the last key point that I do want to make coming away from this match is that Lionel Messi is a player that does need a player that can act as a backbone, a player that can understand what Messi wants to do around the box. You look at how Martin Brathwaite acted with Lionel Messi. Messi scored two goals. You look at how sometimes we did see Pedri and Lionel Messi work around the box and then you see either Messi or Pedri score a goal. Messi simply just needs a backbone towards his plays. And I do think that Messi is working on that with Barcelona so he can get the best out of himself. And Ronald Koeman has analyzed this extremely well because in the post-match press conference, Ronald Koeman has stated this. In the second half, the team improved. If we can look for Leo with passes in the middle, this is fantastic. And Lionel Messi has also won Rack 1 Men of the Match up against Elche. But that's going to be it for today's Barcelona post-match review. Let me know what was your favorite moment in this match. What did Barcelona do well? What did Barcelona not do well? And who do you believe was the Men of the Match up against Elche? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.